In this series of videos, we'll be given the demand and supply functions, and then we'll be asked to determine the equilibrium point, the consumer surplus, and the producer surplus. In this video, we'll focus on determining the equilibrium point given the supply and demand functions. Let's take a look at this graphically first. The demand function is graphed here in red. Notice that it compares the quantity sold to the price per unit. And normally the demand function is a decreasing function, so as the price drops, the quantity purchased will increase. And then in blue we have the supply function graphed, and this is normally an increasing function. As the price per unit increases, the quantity supplied to the market will also increase. Graphically, we can tell the equilibrium point is going to occur right here. But let's go ahead and determine it algebraically as well. To do this, we set the demand and supply functions equal to each other, and then solve for x. Solving for x will give us the x-coordinate, or the quantity, of the equilibrium point, and then we'll have to sub that value into either the demand or supply function to determine the price per unit. So we'll start by setting the demand function equal to the supply function. So we'll have 3,200 divided by square root x must equal 2 square root x. I'm going to go ahead and put this over 1. And now that we have a proportion, we can cross multiply and then solve for x. So we'll have square root x times 2 square root x, that's 2x, must equal 3,200 times 1, so we have 3,200, and now we'll just divide by 2. So we have x equals 1,600, which is the x-coordinate, or the quantity, of the equilibrium point. And now to determine the y-coordinate, or the price, we need to replace x with 1,600 in either the demand or supply function. Let's go ahead and use the supply function. So s of 1,600 is going to be 2 times the square root of 1,600, which is 2 times 40, which is equal to 80, which is the price, so that would be $80. So the equilibrium point would be where the quantity is 1,600, and the price is $80 per unit. In the next video, we'll determine the consumer surplus and producer surplus for the same situation.